Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today, well, basically I'm a bit late to the party, but nevertheless, we're going to do it. This is the new, well, a bit late as I said, uh, Lian Li uh, TU150 Mini ITX case. And it's, I have no words. It's so simple to disassemble it and everything. I already have a build inside here, but I'm going to show you anyway uh, what it can contain. For first impression, it has loads of space. The second thing, you can place up to four fans, which is incredible. So 120 fans, you can place one on the front. And as you can see right here, you have uh, clearance for the fan intake, for the front intake, and you have the meshed part to dust, to block the dust. Now at the bottom, you have the possibility to place two fans and at the rear as the exhaust to add one more. Now the clearance and everything we're going to get to that but let's start with the uh, impressions and the design from the outside. So the first things first you have a handle and it's not that uh, hard to actually place it back in you just slide one side and the other one just pops in push it out and it comes out it's fairly easy and you could actually build a rig inside here that you want to take to your friend's uh, LAN party or whatever you want to go. This is practically very easy to carry around because the components that you place inside aren't that heavy. On the front side you have a power button, you have the USB Type-C, you have two USBs 3.0, uh, you have the 3.5mm uh, jack when it comes to microphone and separate one for your headset, for your, yeah, for your headset and you have a reset button at the end. When it comes to side panels and the front panels, they come off very easy and it's only because they have a click. Basically you have these uh, standoffs, I would call them. As you can see, the tempered glass isn't even touching the bottom of the table because of those standoffs, <clears throat> which is really cool because then you just push it and the uh, holders for the standoffs just uh, stretch, the standoff gets in and it uh, holds it very nicely. Uh, the back panel has the same mechanism so you just remove it and that's it. As you can see it's uh, brushed aluminium. You have an opening here for your power supply outtake as well and it's almost the same distance as, no actually it's the same distance as the tempered glass. But then you're wondering how I'm going to remove the front panel, right? Again, fairly easy. And this time the standoffs are on the case. Uh, the holders for the standoffs are right here, so basically uh, it's again fairly easy to do. Uh, as you can see you have another dust filter here, but uh, taking into consideration that, these, that this isn't basically a dust filter, or maybe it is, but in any case you could most likely remove it to avoid having double dust filters to get a better intake uh, and still it nicely blocks uh, the <coughs> blocks the dust for, for coming from coming inside the case. Uh, the front panel actually looks uh, amazing slick design as Lian Li usually has and a nice glossy Lian Li logo right here at the bottom. The front dust filter is fairly easy removable. You just pull these uh, two levers and you take out the dust filter. Easy to clean, easy to maintain the case uh, without a doubt and you just pop it back in. The backside has enough clearance to manage the cables even though I did place four RGB fans so that makes a lot of more cables here and a cable mess. Here you have a clearance uh, one centimeter and here I would say 1.7 or yeah 1.7 1.8 centimeters for your cable management and I would suggest that you don't put anything here so you don't block the outtake from the power supply. The 
the back side actually has loads of holes so you can manage the cables going for the 8 pin EPS for your fan connections uh, bottom for the audio connections for the HD audio from the front panel uh, and similar stuff like that you have a side uh, for the even though 24 pin doesn't go here but if you manage something like that a larger longer cable you could do it like so I'm using the same configuration as I used in my past mini ITX builds so in the future video you can expect a comparison between uh, three or four mini ITX cases uh, with quality airflow blah 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 but we'll get to that in another video so the same configuration except for the RAMs is in all builds it's not only that you can place M.2 SSDs on your uh, motherboard or 2.5 inch SSD, you can even place, I don't know, some extreme uh, hard drive because it has enough space for it and this is really cool. When it comes to the uh, clearance for the CPU tower color and for the graphic card, the graphic card, this is why I really like it because it has three expansion slots uh, for the PCI Express uh, part and the complete length of the graphic card can be up to 320 millimeters. The CPU tower cooler clearance is up to 165 millimeter clearance and that is from the CPU to the tempered glass. Also I might have forgot something. For cable management you could also do this and remove the top panel as well and then we have a really cool story because you have cables going right here right so you have a cable 24 pin or you have you don't have a custom slipped cables like I do you can push the cables all up here take them down here and it's really handy to have something like this and the best thing about it you don't have to worry about blocking airflow because it doesn't have any ventilation on top and in this case Definitely, in this case, it doesn't matter having a ventilation on top, as I said. So, this is uh, really nice because they actually added 2 cm on top. You have centimeter, centimeter and a half at the back and you can manage cables just perfectly, without a doubt. And as you can see, another push-pull combination for the locking mechanism for the panel. So, you just place it right back and that's all that is to it. And that was a bit of a testing, uh, including PUBG, since I played PUBG in all uh, other uh, cases that I did the tests. I wanted to do an equal test so I can compare. So basically after an hour or two, uh, hour and a half for instance of playing PUBG, this was actually on ultra details. We had the GPU going up to 73 and the processor going around 60. but before that I forgot something I forgot to remove the foil now this looks way better 
and let's turn it on. So, in the Lian Li TU uh, 150, we had PUBG on ultra settings, uh, 1080p though, but we had the 8600K and 6016 Ti. So basically, we got uh, really nice temperatures actually, 73, 72 was average on ultra details uh, on the GPU and we had the CPU at 60, going around 60. Uh, I think it was even less at some point with uh, 50, 50, uh, 55, 56. Uh, the load was very high actually, the load was around, let's say CPU was going from 70 to 80, 90 and the GPU was going around 70, 60-70% uh, load. That's it for now, definitely. Uh, I'm putting the links below for you guys to check out the Lian Li TU150 Mini ITX case. Uh, this is a silver brushed aluminium edition, you have a black one as well. I'll put both of them with separate links so you can check them out both and directly to the Lian Li uh, website to check it out there as well. If I missed some specifications, uh, you might get it uh, over there. So guys, overall, really satisfied with the build quality, with the design, with the looks, the brushed aluminium, the handle, the tempered glass here, giving enough uh, viewability in the inside if you want to make it really nice. If you don't, the TU150 came out with the uh, brushed aluminium side as well. So this is uh, for those who don't like uh, LEDs or just want a slick uh, setup uh, in their room. So links are below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and definitely see you next time in another review. Bye bye.